I am Ignacio Valdez. I'm CEO of Astronaut LLC. I'm also a practicing psychiatrist and a software engineer with 22 years experience. Uh, today we're going to be showing um, the Astronaut Vista um, installer um, that's produced by the Astronaut LLC. Uh, will be uh, that's the this is the astronautvista.com website for more information. Um, today, so the first thing to start is to go to SourceForge and uh, 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 search for uh, that searchforge.net. Search for astronaut. Um, that will take you to the um, one of the Astronaut Vista installers. We have both uh, World Vista editions and uh, MedSphere Open Vista editions. These are not official releases of those uh, respective organizations. Um, they are a standard based. Uh, this is a standard based uh, uh, edition of these. Um, so we're going to be installing the uh, RPM version. Um, in on a cloud instance, and so uh, you go to um, the uh, files area of Astronaut uh, World Vista Auto Installer. You click on uh, the server installer, and then you right-click and you copy the link location f uh, using um, uh, Firefox. Then you go over to uh, whatever uh, instance you have of uh, like a, a Rackspace cloud instance that you can create in minutes. Um, start your putty session up and then do a, um, a wget and then you paste your uh, the uh, the link on SourceForge in and away you go. Uh, this will begin downloading the um, RPM file. It's about a 160 megabyte download, um, but if you're in the cloud or in like, such as the Rackspace cloud, this can be a fairly fast in, uh, download. Um, after the uh, uh, RPM is a download from SourceForge, uh, then we put in the uh, command to install the RPM, which is a really good one is yum minus minus y minus minus no gpg install and then the astronaut rpm file which can be um, uh, accessed by hitting astro uh, by entering astronaut and then the tab will, which will finish it out and you just hit press return and you should get a uh, the all the dependencies will automatically install themselves and the uh, astronaut uh, vista rpm will begin to install itself um, this is approximately five to ten minute um, operation, depending on uh, how fast your processor is, um, and it's proceeding now. Um, you should get a fair number of messages. At the end of the process, it'll have uh, some informative messages as to what to do next, as well as what your server IP address is and what the port that it's been installed on. Um, multiple instances can be installed uh, using a uh, default override file. And uh, next up, we will, uh, after the server has installed itself, we will install the uh, clients with the uh, uh, easy uh, Windows download, no, w easy Windows client installer. So uh, we've, we're back with um, the RPM nearly installed and we're coming to the end there and we have a bunch of informative messages we have a bunch of informative messages here at the very end now the uh, the um, server is installed and we'll install some clients now okay, so we're back to the um, the astronaut vista page on sourceforge.net um, we're going to download the client installer now um, and you just go into the astronaut vista client installer folder and uh, click on the ex executable and it will download save the file and the download is started download we downloaded the uh, astronaut clients installer and we double click on it and run it we get the astronaut splash screen uh, we agree to the license. Uh, we change the uh, localhost IP address to this IP address, and we install. We just accept the defaults, and we install. And we're going to start the SSH tunnel later. Hit finish, and now we go to the start menu. Okay, so now we've moved. To uh, the focus of uh, which is the start menu, we go to all programs, and astronaut has installed in the astronaut uh, icons group. Uh, we go to um, astronaut SSH, and that starts and stops the SSH tunnel. 
Um, so we click on that and uh, an SSH tunnel starts. Okay, so now we've moved the focus over to show that the SSH, SSH tunnel is running in this little um, uh, terminal session. Uh, we're going to, um, if to uh, start and stop this, it, it's running now. Uh, to stop it, you just close that window and that stops the SSH tunnel. So now we go uh, back to our start menu after we've sh uh, shown you the um, uh, SSH tunnel running and let's pick our uh, clinical client which is uh, T TMG CPRS and we're going to go ahead and start that. I'm going to click on it and then change the focus of the screen. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start uh, TMG CPRS and we're clicking on TMG astronaut TMG CPRS and there we are. We are in um, the astronaut world vista edition and we log in with sys.admin and for access code vista exclamation 123 and that brings it up with uh, the clinical client which I have to move on on screen okay and I picked ch I just you didn't see it, but I the select patient box. Uh, you have to select a patient for me to move it on screen. And so here we are with the uh, uh, test patient one. We'll go ahead and do a, a select a new patient. And this is what you see when you first start is to select a new patient. Um, we uh, the TMG CPRS has some unique features in that you can add a patient such as um, last name, first name, uh, a, last name astronaut, first name Vista. It's a fairly new, uh, new arrival to the scene. So it's uh, we'll, we'll say 11, uh, 30, uh, 2008. Make it one years old. We're going to generate a pseudo, and we'll make it female. And we're going to add a patient. And we're adding new patient. This is one of the the key features of uh, of this system. Uh, when we go back to file, select new patient, and there is astronaut Vista. Um, let's change the demographics, and uh, this is uh, we'll change uh, astronaut Vista to John Doe, and we'll change their date of birth to 2001. Apply the changes, and we now have patient John Doe. That's one of the major features that Astronaut introduces through uh, TMG CPRS that makes the system fabulous to use. Um, now we're going to start up uh, uh, the Vista configuration. This is a graphic user interface configuration system for um, for Vista. Um, and this is here. It's coming up. Vista configuration utility, and we come in with the same ID sys dot admin Vista. Vista uh, exclamation one two three, which is the default ID, which you should change if you want a secure system. And uh, with this, uh, with this, you can do graphic uh, change, uh, graphic uh, management of user IDs, such as all these uh, physicians. Um, you can change their access and verify code without you uh, um, you in a graphic way, as well as their electronic signature code. You don't have to go into the um, the uh, Vista text-based interface in order to do this. So these are some of the enhances uh, enhancements on the client side that they make the system uh, dramatically more useful than it has been in the past. Uh, and that's about all for our tra for this uh, training video on how to install Astronaut Vista. Uh, hope we hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy the product. Uh, we'll uh, stay tuned because we have a lot a lot more uh, interesting products uh, coming into the f in the future, and we hope to hear from you soon. Bye now.